right, we got color chart two in front of us. Um, now this part up here is simple enough. This is kind of like before where you just fill in your boxes according to the color that needs to go into it. Um, color chart two is all about intensity. And remember that intensity refers to the brightness or dullness of a color. And we've talked about this before last semester. Um, so what we're doing here is just some pairing so that we remember how to keep um, a color really intense or if we want to dull it down really, really quickly, um, we add its complementary color to it. So we've paired them up here. So if you can remember, the complementary color to yellow is violet. Okay, the complementary color to green is red. And then we got our complementary tertiary colors over here like yellow, orange. Complementary is blue, violet. All right, so that's just a nice quick easy chart for us. This allows us also to practice mixing our colors again now that you have a little more practice at it and you've gotten some um, feedback from your first color chart. I expect to see better color mixing here. So no wateriness. I would like to see some neatness as well. Um, I want you checking for the colors, making sure that when I ask for orange, you give me orange and it's not red orange or yellow orange. It's actually like a true orange, okay? Um, I started filling in some of my stuff here. You can figure out the rest. You do not need to color in the circles. Now, what I will show you how to do today is the bottom part over here because this part is a little bit tricky. Um, this is where we're going to take two pure colors and basically lower their intensity um, by adding the complement. So we know orange. We know its complementary color is blue. So I'm going to show you how we can de-intensify orange until we neutralize it and it becomes basically... Um, kind of like a muddy gray, and then if uh, we are going to de-intensify it with blue till it becomes gray, um, and then we're going to keep going going until we basically get blue again. So to start out with, you could just fill this in as pure orange and this in as pure blue, and then we're going to more and more de-intensify that orange until it becomes blue. Okay. Um, now what I have here is I have my palette. I've already made some orange. I made so much that it filled in like two little cups. Um, so uh, I'm going to show you how to de-intensify it really quickly. I have plenty of orange in here. Now, um, if you can remember from before, when I'm mixing two colors together, I like to start with the lighter color first um, because it's weaker and it, it changes more quickly. Um, so when I'm going to add this dark this darker color here, blue, to de-intensify the orange. I, I need to go a little bit at a time because the, the darker colors are so strong. So um, I'm just going to try and de-intensify it slightly by adding a small dab of blue. Okay, and I'm even afraid. There we go. Let's see how we do. Just by adding that teeny tiny bit of blue. Okay, it's already happening. You can even see a difference between here and here. This is already a little more dull and even a little more dark. Okay, and all I do, I go in and do that first square to show that I'm lowering the intensity of that orange. Okay, whoops, try and stay inside the lines. Okay. Um, Now, um, on that first one, try not, don't take a gob of blue and put it in there, or else otherwise you will lower its intensity too quickly, and I want to see a gradual change from orange all the way to gray to blue. Um, now I'm going to go in with another dab of blue. It's so strong. Add it to something. There you go. It changes again. And even that time, I think I added too big of a dab of blue because it changed so much. I'm going to try to bring it back, scale it back a little bit, because that was too big of a change. I want a gradual change from box to box. There we go. Okay. Good. And, okay, do it again, another dab of blue, Woo. Okay. Now, 
I've almost got it to where it's practically gray, so I really want to get it to gray right there. And do a nice big dab of blue. And I basically turned it into mud. Almost looks like clay. There you go. Yep. It's looking pretty dull to me. Or it's neutral. I can't tell whether it's blue or orange anymore. It's just nothing. It's just brown, grayish, clay mud. Okay, and now I want to start bringing the blue back into it, okay? Because I want to I wanna achieve blue by the time I get over here. So now I'm, gonna, I'm not going to be so shy anymore. I'll take like larger dabs of blue and mix it in. Ugh, this kind of looks like Alessio's diaper when I was changing him the other day. Ugh. But that's okay. Alessio is my nephew. If you can't remember that day that we had in class where I was freaking out. <sighs> okay, this time I'm going to go for a bigger dab of blue because I really want to see it start to change back to blue. So I'm going to go in with that. Okay. Oops. Get on camera. There we go. Okay. And I'm not going to hold back this time. I'm going to add just a ton of blue. And I managed to not contaminate my paint. Yay. There we go. Okay. And there we go. And I've neutralized my colors by using compliments. Yay. Hopefully you get the idea and it's easy enough to follow along.